Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 18 on Node Data Servers. In this video, I'm going to explain how to transfer an image, an image from your backend system to UI application. So this is coming under a concept called media handling in Node Data Servers. So there are different type of medias uh, available like videos or photos or different things and different uh, extension as well. So today I'm going to show you how to move an image, probably it's a PNG format or a JPG format uh, from backend system to UI application. And uh, here I'm going to explain in the code operation level, like how to create an image from UI to backend system and how to read it, how to update it and how to delete it. So uh, exactly same like code operations over here as well. But uh, the methods are quite different. We are not going to use the previous methods which we have used for our uh, code operations like uh, create entity, delete entity, update entity. And here it's a quite new methods which we are going to use it. And it's a code level, very simple. So nothing big deal uh, to write a code. And uh, even the input also, it's very simple how to, uh, means in the testing level, it's also very simple how to add an image and uh, it needs some property to be enabled and added some values over there. So overall, it's a very simple process. So let's see, let's get into the slide first. So this is the idea now. Um, it's a two-way communication. There is an image in my backend system and I'm going to send through Odata service to a new application and probably uh, UI may request to modify the image or they request to update or read or delete whatever they want. And through Odata service, I'm going to perform in the uh, backend system. So here image in the sense we need a place to store. Normally, if you take backend system, the place of storage is mostly tables. So I'm going to um, have one custom table where I'm going to save all the images in a different format. Uh, it has its own uh, different backend format, right? It's converted into that and it's going to be saved in that format in the table. And once it is saved in the table, it's a data, it's a record, okay? Then you know very easy how to read the record, how to delete and update the record, okay? And the format of my table would be like this. Um, MA entity, um, the basic field and an image name, it may be a character data type and image value is a raw string data type, okay? And image type is a character. So this is a one leap part, it's a little new. We have to use raw string to store the image as a raw string in the database table, okay? So this is a custom table which we are going to create it. And, uh, and this is a very basic uh, design. If you want to add, create, date, create by, depends on your need. You can just add whatever fields you want, okay? And created by a lot of things. And another this, okay, uh, I'll just go step by step. Steps are so very easy. The first step would be how to create an entity type for the table, which I shown in the previous slide, uh, manually, or you can use the import option, whatever it is. And the entity type, the entity type level I'm talking about, not the properties level. In the entity type level, there is an option called media. Okay, so there's a checkbox in a particular field called, um, what do you call it? media, and that end checkbox to be enabled, you have to check it. So that is the first step to make sure this entity has uh, an applicable or it's going to be read or it's going to store some media value. So that is the first step. Second step, redefine the define method, which is coming under MPC extension class. So I have an idea of having a short video, especially for the defined method. I have request questions why we need to redefine this method, what kind of code we have to write. In a very simple way, Odata project has its default design. So default design is very simple code operations. Create entity, update entity, read entity, and uh, delete entity, like create entity, entity set, whatever it is. This is a very default design. Apart from that, if you are changed or if you're expecting your Odata project to be capable of doing something else, then define to be redefined. So we have to give, because redefined is coming under MPC. MPC is always related with the design level, like MPC class. So it's a model product class. DPC is a data level. 
So if there is any de any design which is not available in the default, then you have to redefine your define method. Okay, and simple example is deep entity. Deep entity is not the part of default design. Okay, so we have to redefine the define option. The same way media is also not part of a um, default design. And I'm not going to use the basic curved uh, methods. I'm going to use a different methods. So I have to uh, give some proper information communication to the uh, MPC design. So make sure I'm going to use these things that need a support on that. Okay, very simple. So that that is a that is the way we have or that is the um, scenarios where we can go for a define redefine your uh, define method in MPC extension class. So this is step number two. Step number three. These are the methods which we are going to redefine. This is also a curd operation method, but in a different way, or uh, it's it's going to handle the uh, especially for the media uh, objects. So create stream is going to insert an image. If these are method name. It's coming under uh, same like application service runtime um, interface. And get stream is going to read the information from your database table. Update stream is going to modify your image in your database table. Delete is going to delete the data from your database table. So these are the four methods. It's going to redefine it. Okay. And the last step would be URI. There is a small um, addition you have to use dollar value because by default you have a URI and uh, you have an entity set and within bracket you are going to give a key values. You are going to use get method, put method, delete, post, whatever it is. But how the system recognize this should not call the basic curd operation methods. So for that we are going to use uh, additional um, option set, I can say our additional, what do you call URI set? Uh, that is nothing but a dollar value. So how we used a dollar format or uh, like JSON format, Excel format, like this addition operations like. So in the same way, we are going to use uh, addition one called dollar value. Then this will recognize and it will going to call the particular method of this list. Okay, so that is the way we have to use dollar value nothing different in your uri for this process okay so hope you have a little idea about what is media handling in odata service how we are going to implement it that's it let me get into my system so this is my hana uh, system let me go to scgw and before that i have a table and it has a data as well uh, this is the table Z image and these are the values which is available in my table. So MNDT file name and this is the value file value. The image has been converted into a, a different or applicable format and the image type. So one is JPG and one is PNG. Okay. And there's a file name. So if you see the structure of my table as Z image. Yep. So mandatory, uh, sorry, um, client M A N D T character twenty, and the data element we have is X string value. So the data type is raw string. Okay, it's a X string basically, and this is character hundred, and this is more than enough for me and to have the table. If you want, you can add it. Depends on your need. Okay, that's it. So this is the table where I'm going to store my images. So now let me go to S C G W, then start create. Uh, or data project and uh, import this image instead of manual i'm going to import this table as a structure to my audit service as an entity type then i'm going to enable the entity type with the option called media i'm not sure why it's taking time let's wait okay let me go to cgw Let me create a project. Okay. So, um, CGI image. Image processing. Some name. Just get local object. And data model, right click, import, TDI structure. 
entity type name is image and DDI structure is Z image and click next and I want all the fields and click next key field is MA entity and file name and click finish okay done and then um, go to the entity type okay so entity type so either double click here or double click here okay not in the properties then here you have an option called media just select it so this is step one okay just save it we are not going to do much on the design so design is ready uh, we have four fields and uh, we enabled the entity type with option called media that's it and generate your project to get dpc mpc classes Okay, done. Just go to the properties because I want the name. Uh, so, MA entity, file name, value, MMI type. So, I need few things. Okay, fine. These are the four values. Now, go to artifact, go to MPC extension class first because second step would be redefine the um, define method in MPC extension class. So, go here, go to methods of MPC extension class and inherited method one of the method as define right click redefine it okay and always we need to call the uh, like super class define method so this is the first step first line of your re implementation or redefine your define method and now what i'm going to do is i have two things one is the entity type has a media so i'm going to uh, add that one and then property property file name is going to be is going to convert uh, so okay, file name is a property which i'm going to implement over here so first thing what i'm going to do is i need an object two objects one is for uh, entity yeah, entity type ref2 so it's um, normal one uh, like IWBEP, it has an interface. If most of the interface we use from if underscore M MGW only, go data underscore entity type ENTI. Do I have uh, entity? So it's, it's more actually. Okay, it's fine. Entity type. TYP. Okay, this is for entity. And another one I need for property. So property is going to be my field name, sorry, file name. So type ref2 if IWBEP slash MGW data property. Okay, so two object reference I have created reference so there is no object so i need to get an object for it means the values right object reference i need to get it so or data is equal to model get entity type so here get entity type the parameter would be iv name equal to my entity name image so I need to get the uh, object reference of it so if it has an object reference so entity is bound make sure to avoid runtime errors so I need to get the value for my object reference for property so then here object entity property name is file name and here iv underscore property name is one of the key field file name dot so almost done and what i have to do is 
object property i need to set the content type so set as content type sorry and this is a method so this is the redefinition of your defined method that's it we'll go to dpc now okay done so this is the entire code object property and property name is file name make sure there is no uh, spelling mistake and you have to maintain the same uh, right what do you call camel camel case whatever it is a case sensitive okay that's set now go to dpc method and redefine all the four methods create delete update read go to methods inherited and go to this one application like servers runtime application interface okay so here start with stream here it is create stream right click redefine then we have delete stream redefine then get 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 stream redefine finally update stream redefine that's it okay all the four got redefined now go to redefine redefinition folder yes we are here so let me go with create first yeah create stream so to the final table would be z image right so let me have a work area to receive the values right so zi data type z image the table name okay this is ready and so the values are coming in through few parameters or few this method um signatures okay so this method parameter or method signature so lv slug right oh, sorry it's iv iv underscore slug carries the file name of your image okay so we got a file name so let me have a change data file name is iv slug got it and then image details image details is nothing but what is a file value what is a type so that is coming under this parameter is media resource okay so it's very simple that everything taken care of from the parameters level so image data and image type is from is media resource space bar this is mime type okay and uh, next is image data what is the value of it that is also coming under media so we are going to import or we are going to add an image it's automatically converts okay you don't worry about it and uh, is media resource value what is the value and the first is main entity let me hard code it it's not hard coded um main dt is equal to from the system variable okay and finally i need to insert this insert um z image values w a i m a g d value or values let's see okay i think insert into yep it's very very long back i used okay insert into z image values and what is the value it's stored in the work area let's activate it yeah there is no error found so this is the code for create it's very simple okay and then if you want you can add size of rc you can add your message if you want to send something back to the ui so everything you can have it we already discussed that is in two or three videos uh, in the previous ones so just uh, refer it i don't waste your time create is done then i need to read it uh, where it is here it is right okay just 
go to the get stream you want to save yes i want to save so get stream is simple you know uh, the data are available in key tab the whatever information is coming from ui so you need to read the key tab and based on that use the select statement and do a copy data ref then it automatically comes in your ui as an output so i need to read it key tab tab into data w a key tab uh, index 2 so here i hard code it but you may go with the field name actually why index 2 is i have two key fields ma entity and field uh, file name so i i prefer i want only the file name to be read it yeah sorry got a call um mm, where i stopped okay uh, this is the second field the field file name so i use index 2 or normally you go with read by your field name so that is actually best okay then say okay wherever i am okay if is a bar z equal 0 select single Select single start from Z image into data image where file name equal to so key tab it's stored in the field called value. Okay, now we need a, a what do you call here? It's ER stream right so this is the one which is going to send the value back to the ui from this get stream method so here uh, yeah then i need a work area because er stream is the final um, object which carries the data and this is going to be used with the help of uh, copy data to ref method so before filling that i need a work area over here stream type and that is a standard type qis media resource okay so once the data is found in i'm going to fill it a stream mime type is equal to from your database table w a image w a image and mime type stream value so only these two to be moved work area that's it okay now i'm going to use copy data ref data to ref method exporting and the parameter is is data equal to wa stream and then there is another parameter for change in and coming under changing this is your data is going to be your signature parameter year underscore stream year underscore stream so let me execute this like test it and we'll come to update and delete quite later okay execute is there is any error no no error so switch off the signature so this is a code for get method okay and everything is mine let me Activate together. Now go to your SAP Gateway servers and create a servers, execute it, and we have the code for create and get. So maybe have a breakpoint and then it's a get. Have a breakpoint. Yeah. 
So open a gateway client C93. Executes. Okay, I need to add it. Uh, yeah. Local and ZGI star. I think I have only one. Yeah, this is the one I want to. It's there. I want to create a service. Just click. It will give a pop up. Yep, created and metadata was loaded successfully. Continue. Go back and filter it. CGI star. Okay, this is the one and click SAP Gateway Client. So there's a basic. Okay. So now I need to create it. So uh, here it's very simple to create it. I have two images in my uh, pictures folder. So let me have that first. So I have uh, two files. So these are the two images. Uh, one is in JPG, another one is PNG format. So I'm going to include this one by one. I am in the post method I have to do. So let me have my entity, entity set. Okay, and keep this as a post. And other two steps. Step one, add a header value. And the header value name is slug. And this parameter is going to carry the file name, whatever you are giving here, header value. So I can say uh, file 11 and click continue. And step two, add your image. So how to add an image and click here, add file. This is a JPG file and click open. It's hello. It's opened. Okay. And click execute. So we are in post method. So it comes and stops in the debugging mode and your I V underscore SLG has the file name, whatever we have passed. And rest of same if I if I and this media work area it just plays a major role. So type it recognize from the image it's JPG and the value also converted from internally. Okay, and this is going to be added in your table. And I don't have any size of bar C, but here it's you can able to find it's zero. There is no duplicate. Only file name is the uh, key field over there and along with the MA entity. Just click F8, you will get an error. Error in the sense, uh, service provider did not return any business data, meaning um, it happened that create stream is executed. It's same error in curd method also. In create, if you're not sending back anything to a UI because the method is trying to add it, insert, after that there is no code which we are sending back the information to the UI application, whether it's success or failure or anything. So you had to add the code. That's what I'm explaining. We already covered that part. Please refer the previous videos and just add the exceptions in which way you want. You want to go into uh, show the information here or you want in the header level, you want to pass the exception. Please take care of that. Okay. But this um, image is getting added in your database table. So let's see in the database table. Okay. Let's open any of this yeah. slash and ac16 image and file is 11 yeah it's added file 11 has been added successfully so let's read this file okay then go to sap client i'm going to read it just click get image set and the values are ma and gt because the key field 100 and oh, sorry 800 but it doesn't make any difference because i'm not going to use this anywhere file name equal to file 11 that's it now this is a normal curd method if you give this it trying to find a create entity sorry get entity method okay let me try just execute it You'll get an error message. Image said get entity is not implemented. Obviously, we didn't do the implement. So here, the dollar value plays a major role. So give dollar value. Okay, it's case sensitive, all in small case, and execute it. Now it's go and stops here. 
so after this you know what what is going to happen it read the values and keytab has two um, records one is for ma entity one is file name that is the reason i give index 2 as a hard coded value or you can use name field to read the values and if i there is a file yes there is a file and i'm going to execute it so file comes here so it's 200 so this is get method and the rest is very simple update and delete uh, let me have a code for that then we'll do the update and delete here data browser and this is yeah. so now go to let me copy the few things maybe i need to read it right i think only this i have to then it's fine um, let me go to update first index 2 if say is equal to 0 then I'm going to use it data WA image type image I need a work area to hold the values to modify so image file name equal to wa key tab value okay file name and then wa image so if you want to add further code you can do it okay so exactly right read based on this file name and everything this is a very simple code i am doing it here and the mime type is getting from go to the signature here also you have media resource so that will take care is media resource so this work for your update also update method also image value is media resource value okay and simple code modify z image from w a image okay no syntax errors and finally delete delete need just a file name nothing much like uh, media resource even the signature you are not able to find any media resource because it doesn't require anything from the uh, type level just a key field is enough over here right so here if it is done then i'm going to delete it delete from z image where file name equal to key tab That's it. I didn't write commit or control anywhere. So please take care of that. Right click. Activate. That's it. And uh, have a breakpoint in the delete method as well and also update method. now go to oh sorry um, gateway client so now i'm going to update uh, file 11 i'm going to use the same file everywhere file name i'm going to update file 11 with some other image so i need put okay and what is the file this is header file is already there so otherwise you have to add it what is the file name and the header name is slug and you're going to say add it, add a file. I'm going to change to HANA. This is a different format, PNG. Unfortunately, it's not recognizing over here. It's coming with some other different format in this input. Just they mentioned it's PNG. It's fine for us. It's automatically changed the value also. Okay. 
and this is going to be a put method and execute it and it go and stops in your update method this, this code is very simple ABAP code I'm just modifying it nothing much so if I if I read the data file name is file 11 and you remember we read the file 11 also it came as a SAP only and modify also happen with zeros and execute it it's done so how we can understand here also it's giving 204 success message there is no return from the particular uh, method let me go to the table and it could be some changes in this value file 11 after refresh so start with ff and you're going to give a refresh it's it's some something 89 50 some values are coming that's fine so it's it's got updated and updated with png also so this file gets updated let me read it and go to get file 11 i'm going to read it get method and I click execute there is no change over here okay execute it's going and stops in the debugging mode that's fine execute and uh, yeah, response is not in here because it's a png i believe so i'll let me go to response in browser yes so this is the one it's uh, sap logo is updated with sap s4 hana okay and final method is delete where it is okay, delete and no need of here because it needs it's going to read from this uh, level itself uri itself so just click delete and execute and again it go and stops there's no breakpoint let me check refresh yep i think there's no breakpoint or i said the um, internal breakpoint i believe so this is a way it's work so delete also worked fine so uh, we have created an image and deleted it, updated it and read it. Okay. And with the very simple four methods, create stream, get stream, delete stream and update stream. So hope this might be useful and uh, just play around. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.